Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we made our way to the Indigo Plateau. Let me go down here really quickly just so I can show you the fancy little thing logo plate. Anyways, in between episodes I went inside Victory Road and I pretty much trained my Pokemon massively. Uh, most of my Pokemon are level 54, so more than half. Uh, Nido King and Snorlax were definitely the hardest to to train. Uh, it was actually hard to train Jolteon, but not as hard as these two, obviously, because Nido King is level 47 and Snorlax is only level 45. So Snorlax didn't get too much levels, and Nido King didn't get much as well, but way more than Snorlax. Otherwise, I think my team is ready for the Pokemon League, so we're gonna begin that challenge in today's episode. Let's step inside and challenge the Pokemon League. Alright, here we are. Let's talk to everybody inside here. Yo, champ in the making! At the Pokemon League, you will face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. Thanks, Gym Guide Man, who's now in the... Elite Four building. Anyway, if you need to heal your Pokemon, there's the nurse. Uh, I actually entered here before, and I bought all the healing items that I'm gonna need, and I also healed up at the Pokemon Center. So, just make your way over here when you're ready. Let's talk to her really quickly. From here on, you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck! Thank you, kind lady. Alright, let's check out this statue. Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal of trainers, Pokemon League Headquarters. Alright. This is it, you guys ready? Let's go. There's no turning back. All we can do now is keep pushing forward. Let's go. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? Here we go! The first member of the Elite Four! Lorelei, the Ice-type Pokémon Master! She has five Pokémon, and out first is going to be... Dugong! Let's go, Jolteon! Alright, Shockwave, let's do this! Alright, about half. I think it did a little bit more. Safeguard is fine. Another Shockwave should take it out, though. And there we go. Down goes Dugong. Alright. Some experience for you. Snorlax has the experience here just because we wanted to get a little bit more experience during these Elite Four battles. Next up is going to be a Cloyster. We will be staying in. Alright, and once again, let's use Shockwave. Alright, it's using Protect, so stalling, yay! Just what we all want in the Elite Four. Alright, here we go again. This time it doesn't use Protect, I wonder why. Maybe it's gonna use Hail or something? Because I think it carries Hail. Oh, never mind, you got taken out there, Cloyster. Thanks for coming! <laughs> um, alright, ooh, a lot of experience there. Awesome. Next up is going to be a Slowbro we will stay in yet again. Uh, despite saying what their types are in their pre-match speeches, they don't always have Pokemon that are of that type. They will have Pokemon that are subtype of something different or can learn their moves. In this case, Lorelei has Water-type Pokemon since they can learn Ice-type moves. Most of them. Anyway, another Shockwave here for Slowbro. 
and that's gonna take it out with a critical hit. That probably did help, in all honesty. So thanks for coming, Slowbro. More experience for Snorlax, and next up it's going to be Lapras. This Lapras is probably our toughest challenge with Lorelei. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send in Poliwrath. And we're gonna be using some fighting type moves on this thing. Alright, no longer protected by Safeguard, that's awesome. Let's go for a Brick Break. Alright, it does a little over two-fifths, I want to say. And Confuse Ray. Oh, that's just wonderful. Hopefully we break out of it and we hit... Come on, Poliwrath! Yeah! There we go! Uh, Lapras here has a Citrus Berry that it's going to be nobbling up in just a second. So, oh wow, it didn't actually eat it. Weird. Okay, now it eats it. And I'm very lucky I didn't get Paralysis from that Body Slam. I'm not sure if Lorelei's going to heal here, but please break through the confusion. Yes! Poliwrath! Yeah! Alright! There we go! Down goes Lapras. Yes! Oh, Lapras, you... you devil. Thank goodness I took you out. Alright, next up for Lorelei is going to be Jinx. I think this is actually her final Pokémon. Uh, we're going to be switching out into Charizard, and we're going to take this out in one shot. Hopefully. Alright, Jinx. Time to get burned! Yes! Critical hit blast burn to finish off Jinx. And that is going to do it for this battle against Lorelei of the Elite Four. Things shouldn't be this way. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon Leap's power. All right. We have defeated the first member of the Elite Four. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the next room. No turning back yet again. All right, this guy looks like a black belt, so I'm assuming we're going to want Charizard to be in front here. All right, let's go. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon. And that will never change. James, we will grind you down with our superior power. <laughs> Alright, here we go against Bruno of the Elite Four. He also has five Pokémon, and out first is going to be... Onyx! Alright, Charizard, let's go. This is actually a pretty bad matchup. Uh, let's use Dragon Claw, though, on this thing. Alright, it does more than half, that's good, but Rock Tomb's gonna hurt here, oh god. Oh my. And our speed is gonna lower from the side effect. Hopefully we're still faster. Yes, we are, because Onyx is pretty much slow as a snail. Although, technically Onyx, I've always when I was younger, I would consider Onyx a rock snail. Oh my, my dumb, young stupidity. <laughs> Alright, next up is going to be Hitmonchan. We will be staying in. Hopefully we go first. Let's use Fly. No, we're not. And we're going to be taken out here by Hitmonchan. That's pretty yeah, that sucks. Alright, let's send an Executor then. Art Executor, Psychic. Sky Uppercut, Mist. That's good. Oh! 
Oh, almost takes it out with a psychic. It's gonna use, uh, it's, he's gonna use a potion here, uh, so I'm gonna just use Giga Drain. Uh, full restore, yeah, the weak force have full restores, not potions. Stupid. Alright, and Giga Drain, just to lower it a bit of health. Or about a fourth of health. Alright, and finish it off with a psychic. Sky Uppercut does nothing because we resist it. Very much so. And this Psychic is going to take out Hitmonchan. Beautiful. Alright. More experience for Executor, more for Snorlax. Next up's going to be Hitmon Lee. We will be staying in it because it's not like we can go into Charizard. Alright, and... Psychic. Mega Kick, that's gonna hurt. Actually, that didn't do too much damage. But the Psychic's gonna do a lot to you. Oh, again! Almost takes it out, but not quite Giga Drain, because... Oh, I thought it was gonna heal again. Alright, well, that's cool. As long as we survive, which we don't... Yay, criticals. They're wonderful. Alright, Jolteon, let's go. Alright, and let's finish it off with a return. Thanks for coming, Hitmonlee! Taking out my Pokémon! Alright, next up for Bruno is going to be a second Onix. We will be switching out, and we will be going into... Poliwrath. Alright, and let's use Water Pulse. And there we go. Thanks for coming, Onyx. I was actually quite scared that it wouldn't take it out because we were four levels lower than it. Alright. 46 levels now for Snorlax. That was so backwards, but I'm going to keep it going. Next up is going to be Machamp. And we will stay in. This is Bruno's final Pokemon. Machamp's is highest leveled. Okay. Uh, Water Pulse has a chance of confusion. So let's try to confuse it. Well, that didn't work. Scary Face gonna lower our speed. Really, you should've just used Cross Chop, even though we would resist it, technically, since we are part fighting. Here it comes, though. Oh, that's gonna do a lot anyway. Yeah, it takes us out with a crit. Hmm, joyous. Alright, uh, Nido King. Let's use you. Alright, let's go for the Mega Horn. Learn that off screen while training. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Wonderful. Another scary face to lower our speed. That's just great because Nido King totally needed that to happen. All right, and let's go for an earthquake this time. After it uses bulk up. Oh god, the small champs are coming scarier and scarier by the second. Alright, that does a good amount of damage, but he's gonna heal up with his Citrus Berry. Uh, I think it's time we start sacrificing Pokémon to get others back. Alright, let's use one of the 25 revives that we have to heal up Charizard. There we go. You have been revived, Charizard. If Nidoking can survive here, then we can heal you up some more. Yes, Poison Point. Thank you, Nido King. I love you. Alright, and... There's some leftovers for you, Nido King. Nom 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 nom. Eat it all up and get some health back. You deserve it. And, uh, well, we don't have any other items but full restores for healing HP, so let's just use one. There we go, Charizard's full health, which will help once Machamp takes out Nido King here. Oh, maybe he could have survived. Definitely wouldn't have if it was a crit, though. Alright, Charizard, come on out and finish this uh, Machamp off, shall we? Machamp's gonna get healed, uh, get healed by poison? No, he's not a poison heal Gliscor. Uh, let's go for a fly. That should do it. He shouldn't heal up either when the poison damage kicks in. Hopefully. 
let's see... Nope, he does not get the chance to, and that is going to do it for Machamp, which means that is going to do it for this battle against Bruno of the Elite Four. Why? How could I lose? My job is done. Go face your next challenge. And now he does a talk to the hand moment, and he just turns away from us. Alright, that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. Next time, we will move on to the next room and face the next trainer of the Elite Four. And then the one after that. And then, it's the champion. See you guys then.